Hey everyone, today I will be opening an order from an Etsy seller, Walla Walla Plants. I've done a few Etsy purchases before, they were generally plant cuttings, but this order I've been actually looking at for a while as three different types of Horthium, more unique ones than I already have, so I'm pretty excited about this. It did come hard up in here. Um, a little, I probably should be using a scissor. I don't know why I'm, why I'm using this. Uh, it did come a little bit quicker than expected, so that was exciting. Here we go. I'll just rip it open. And I do know that the plants will be pretty small. Um, it was indicated that I did that specifically to save money and also because I don't mind waiting for them to grow, but I'm hoping that they're you know, still big enough that they look really pretty. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's inside. All right, so it looks like they, oh, I love the organization of this. Materials, steps, so how to plant them, where to put them. Oh, and very detailed instructions on the back. That's cool. Set that aside. Check it out later. I don't know what this is. Oh, seeds. That's exciting. That's an interesting name. Um, I don't know that one specifically. I think it's a type of cactus, but that is always fun to get some bonus uh, items. More information for succulent care. Is this the receipt? That's the receipt. All right, so paperwork out of the way. Love the packaging. I always appreciate when they look like gifts because they're fun to open, especially when you spend a lot of money on them. Each of these was a little bit more money than I typically spend. I am in South Florida, so I can get them pretty cheap. But when I can't find... Oh, okay, yeah, this one is small. But this is variegated. And I've been looking for a Horthia truncata seem to cost a little bit of money wherever you get them, so I figured why not spend a little more and get a variegated one. Let me just take off the fuzz. There's a little leaf on the side there. Let me get that off. All right, and it is small, but it is pretty. I think I need to water it a little bit, too. But that's going to be... Oh, I love the variegation on this. is is very nice. This one will be exciting to watch grow. All right. We're going to save that one for last. That was the one I was most excited about. All right, this one I had also been it's less rare, I guess, but I've been looking for one. And they never seem to show up even at my favorite Haworthia purchasing spots here. It's got good roots. This one also needs to be watered. And it doesn't really look like a crystal ball, even though it was listed that way on the seller's page. Either way, I was interested in getting one of these. It's pretty and it's got good roots, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Clearly my son also likes it, which is nice. And this one was the one I was most excited about. And let me get all the fuzz off before I show you it. This is a double-headed one which I thought was a good purchase because they're really so pretty and yep, it did not disappoint. A Horthia obtusa amber. Wow. Yeah, I really liked this one because of the light colors on it. I always love when I see pictures of ones where you can look at how you can basically see through the leaf windows there. They're so light and I know when I put it outside in light, it'll pick up the light really well. So I am very happy with this one, and I'm excited to pot it up. Looks like some pretty decent roots, smaller root systems than some of my other ones, but they look healthy, and I am happy. So these are the three for my order today, and I'm feeling pretty good about this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more with us.